Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Sunday. It is Sunday all day, and I just saw 2222. Okay, so. Two, 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 two. All right. Look at Lucy. She's all up. She's always all up in these spreads, guys. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Just got me coffee. And then I was like, do I come on? Do I go live? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. I don't normally ever do that. Nine of Pence, King of Wands, Nine of Swords, Ace of Cups. Now, sticky okay so with the nine of pence majority of these were reversed too I'm not going to do reversals I'll clarify what reversals um, confident energy priceless something about priceless energy um, you do have a, uh, I was going to say Leo because I'm looking at the lion, but Aries, Sag, Leo, that's stressed out when it comes to feelings or you're stressed out. You could be single. You could be coming in as the Nine of Pence, single. King of Wands is majority of the time, single. You could be stressed out over this person, not sleeping. A little bit of anxiety. So, nine of pence, right? Independence, freedom. It, it, she almost does really remind me of Empress type energy, except not the same amount of responsibilities. You know what I mean? Like, single, sexy, works hard, feels liberated, doesn't necessarily have children, um, busy working woman or out and about she might have her eyes set on someone or this could be him having his eyes set on someone it really just depends on how this is going you might be dealing with somebody who's got a little bit of OCD because that's the only time I ever really get in here and line these cards up tell me about this nine of pence Six of Cups reverse, but my hands have a little lotion. I just put lotion on my hands, so I'm not going to quite take that yet. Tell me about this Nine of Pence, please. I do feel like... I just saw this bird, so I don't know if it's some type of messenger, but I love how she has the tiger, and he's got the lion. This could be one energy. This could be just speaking about a king of wands. I normally always look at the nine of pence as an energy, though. So we got the page of pence. So 
this looks like a new opportunity with work or self-discovery, self-love, putting time into yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, majority of the time, I always, always, to me, this is work. So you could be dealing with a boss that is an Aries Leo Sag. You are going to get a message. You have the Knight of Wands coming in at the bottom of the deck. It's quick energy. Could be regarding work. And then you got the Queen of Wands, so underneath that so I don't know if my feminine is fire too tell me about the king of wands <clears throat> too many king of wands <clears throat> you got the unknown card so there's still something you don't know about this situation. There's still something behind the scenes. If you ask me, you kind of know, but it's more of like, oh, it could be this, it could be that, it could be this. You could be dealing with somebody who's psychic, or this is the universe just saying there's something going on behind the scenes. Um, might be the whole... Uh, Unless this is somebody else's energy, like, or unless this one's still unsure about something. Let me get one more for the unknown. One more for the, not for the unknown, because it's unknown. One more for the King of Wands. Got the Knight of Cups. I feel like something else flipped. So it, it is about feelings. Um... And it also is reversed. I'm not doing these ones reversed yet. Um, they could possibly be hiding feelings. Again, this could be you being like, do I have feelings for this person? If this is a work situation, ship, there's a good chance you might catch feelings or somebody doesn't want to involve feelings. Maybe it's the whole... No work and pleasure, one or the other. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. But there's got to be feelings if there's stress. You know, so it is, seems to be a little tricky. And again, the moon. All right, so it's just, it's unknown. Unknown where the situation is going to go with the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, too, with the Ace of Wands. So there is, there is definitely sexual attraction. Um... Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Three of Pence and the Fool. So this looks like a, a new contract, teamwork, brand new start, spiritual start. This can be any type of contract. It could be a work contract. It could be you moving into a new place. It could be a lease. It could be a mortgage. It could be even a lease on an office. All right, but it's... It's going towards the unknown. So this this basically is saying time to go with the flow. Time to go with the flow of something. It looks like you're going to enjoy it. It looks like if it's work, it could be a little bit of a spiritual twist on it. Um... Okay, so this looks like the overall energy. Now what I'm going to do, if this is you, this is your energy, if you're dealing with an earth sign, let's see what's going down. If this is your energy and you're dealing with earth,
you know, there's something really to consider here. You are resting from a situation. You are carrying some type of some type of weight. That's way too many. Um, there is something that is most definitely over. Okay, and you don't look to be saying much, or they don't look to be saying much. If if you're dealing with Earth. You're not happy with some type of situation. There could have actually been um, a physical death. It would have already took place. You know, it is it is around the holidays, right? So, um, thinking about people, something's weighing heavily on you. Um, and again, you have the Empress, the King of Cups, and the Queen of Cups if you're dealing with Earth. So you could be dealing with somebody who's got water in their chart. But I don't know if there's two women here or not. I believe there is. Um, tell me about the King of Cups here. Looks like there's a King of Cups that's definitely desiring, you know, a Cancer Taurus. Any Zodiac, really. This is if you're dealing with, with work. There's, I mean, with Earth. There's definitely could be some type of partnership. Somebody from the past returning. It definitely looks like there was, somebody made a decision when it comes to who they're choosing. So it looks like someone may lay the weight down. Um, so it looks like something can be over. Because this is something that's over. So they could be done with the Empress because the way they're looking, right? He's got his back turned to her going, looking right towards this one. It really just depends on, on your situation. But looks like... He ended something and is having new elsewhere. Okay. So, if you're dealing with air, and this is your story. Let's do that. I really feel like for a majority of you, these this combo really speaks of, of work, especially with the three of pence. So, you could have work... You could be starting a new job, and, and this is unknown to you yet because this would be somebody you're meeting. And if you're dealing with Earth, maybe you were that Empress and you let something go, and then all this is going to pop in. Okay. So if, you, if this is your story and you're dealing with air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius... There is somebody at a distance from you right now trying to have patience. They are desiring you. Leave a Gemini Aquarius. Deck just got sticky. Alright, there is some type of commitment or a new job, new area of study. Working hard towards something. The moon being reversed, it looks like something is going to get revealed and the truth is going to come in when it is regarding some type of situation ship. You know, letting the past go. You could be dealing, that could be saying you're dealing with an Aquarius, but that's usually healing, a wish card. Tell me about the star. So it looks like you got the tower. So someone's avoiding something. There's there's still something going on, not healing from a situation. Someone's still aggravated. Someone someone is gonna roll back around. But <coughs> well, this tower already occurred. Um, looks like again someone's laying the weight down. Um, I'm also looking at this as. 
again, this can be work, a new area of study. You know, have a little patience. Somebody could be at a distance. But your your ships are your ships are coming in. They're not quite here yet in this depiction, but they're they're coming in. You do have somebody from the past coming back around though. It looks like they're getting rid of the past or you're getting rid of the past. Something will be exposed to someone. So if you're dealing with fire, this could actually be two different people too. That Knight of Cups, because I keep seeing a whole bunch of different type of masculine so I'm, I'm starting to question that now that I'm getting into different areas but so if you're dealing with fire yeah fire so if this is your story dealing with fire you got the queen of pence focused on work focus on taking care of herself got the wheel something's moving she ended some type of karmic contract some type of situation ship moving forward it looks like she's no longer interacting with an emperor <clears throat> looks like this emperor is not using their intuition looks like she is going to have a new start um, it may have something to do with his or her finances, but this is something she probably did in the back in the past. Definitely a little stressed out. Um, there's something going on with the household that that's going to be your finances, but this is normally about second chances or forgiving or forgiveness or something that was done in the past life. But this is present. So it, it looks like you're dealing with two types of situations, work and love. It looks like, and this is fire, right? Yeah, see, look at the fire right there. You got the nine of swords right there. It talks about the work right there. So a lot of you, this you're really dealing with a strong fire presence, whether it's somebody else or this is a propensity within your chart. But to me, this looks like an ending. Tell me about the Ten of Pence. Yeah, the end of conflict and ending. The the fool was reversed. Tell me about this Ten of Pence, please. And that wanted to come out again. So there's not there's not some type of love in some situation. Okay. So there's that. So if this is your story and you're dealing with water, that fool really wants to make an appearance. The fool, the anxiety about a new start, curiosity, definitely looks like work, could even be love, but work, work and love are coming out strong. It's ironic. I'm not even picking up on festivities, the holidays, <laughs> you know. Oh, well, one of you guys had the, the wheel. Oh, it was the fire. And I think fire and earth, which makes sense with fire and earth. <clears throat> but anywho, so if this is your story and you're dealing with water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces... Brand new start, spiritual beginning, taking the leap of faith. There is some type of situation where you're not having it. These two cards just flew out. There's no balance. There's no, there's no reciprocity in this situation with someone. You're looking at something as a complete loss, turning your back. You're not paying attention. You're focused on work. Um, to me, could you have a little communication 
it's ironic because either way, you're turning your back on this situation too. No longer feeling stuck, tied down. This is a card of a journey. There is no, absolutely no reciprocity in this situation. But it looks like if you're dealing with water, they're having a new start, or you're having a new start, and you're turning your back. Tell me about the fool. Something was definitely um, botched here. Yeah, there was definitely an ending. Somebody is not single, was not single, okay? Or somebody has a little bit of lack of confidence, but it's coming in quick. This, yeah, see, it, to me, it's somebody, it, it was either lack of confidence or there was, there was lack of trust here. I don't know what happened here, but this is two different energies going in two different directions. All I know is that if you were dealing with water, vice versa, this was not a good situation. Something is most definitely over. But the positive thing is, is that this door already shut. Clear as day. This was your first card out. So regardless of the situation, because I'm not getting like too much of what went down, but it looks like you were better off leaving a situation with the Five of Swords and Ten of Swords. But the Five of Swords was still out, so it's lingering somewhere. So focus on this. Okay. Um, before I wrap this up, I've been wanting to clarify that page of pence. <clears throat> I just split it at the two of wands, so tell me about the page of pence. It could just be dealing with Earth, or this is the Earth within your chart. But to me, this is strong work, so I want to um, pick up on that real quick. The Magician, yeah, you're about to manifest something. You're about to have a conversation. You got the Ace of Swords, a new start somewhere. You're gonna be, you're gonna be victorious if you're doubting something with the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You might be stopping some type of work and going into a new type of work. The end of a contract. Or signing a new contract. It's going to be a very creative type of work. You get to put your twist on it. Which I saw over here. This was reverse, so you might be dealing some with the past. Or you're just <clears throat> blocked off now because of the situation. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Or like I said, this could be someone new. And it's, it was reversed because it's, it's unknown. Now, nah, see, I knew it was, <clears throat> I just picked up on that too, it's your past. You're walking away from that. Somebody was not telling you how they felt or, or there was no reciprocity like we were seeing. It's just you walked away from it. But, or you're walking away from feelings. <clears throat> oh, look at my throat. <clears throat> so you might be dealing with somebody who's not talking about something, but regardless of that, Let's see if it's two different energies. Tell me about this king of king of uh, fire. And the eight of cups was reversed, so that you know, thinking about walking away hasn't quite walked away. So this is somebody who wants a new adventure. They want they want to go over they want to go after passion. They they see the good in something. Could be the end with the strong Leo. Karmic justice here. But I think you're letting go of a water sign and there's a fire sign coming in. Or this person that walked away is going to step back in. I think this is presently happening for some of you because this is reverse i'm not reading them reverse i do think it might be two different energies guys but um because this was reverse this is you i think you might got feelings for someone that you work with or because this is two different energies strong 
and I think it's like in the beginning like when I said don't work don't mix business and pleasure I think that's what's going on and then you have something exterior that I, I don't even think you're aware of because it's coming in or the person that's coming in is just getting out of something sorry about the eight of cups because this is more like that was a strength but I'm not taking that up with this one seven of wands so yeah so blocked gathered So there's almost like a connection you don't want to, someone didn't completely sever ties, but to me, somebody already healed from it. See, yeah, this already happened. You're definitely dealing with the past too. There's no question, past and present and future. Um, Yeah, you're guarded. You don't. I don't think you even want to mess with the past. Looks like you're definitely going on a new adventure. Majority of you, it's it's either work, it has to do with your finances, or it's actually going to require time, work, effort. Because this is screaming work. But then you got love over here, troops, okay? And this could be the the love of work, but I mean come on, with all the other stuff that's going on, there's obviously love involved. Alright, troops, well I hope this helped you. Happy Sunday. And uh we'll talk to you soon.